Hello folks. You know, since I've been teaching helicopter aerodynamics for the last seven years at the Sibley Science class, I get asked all the time what would make a good science project for a science fair or a class project. Well, I'll bet you'll get an A if you build one of these. I'm going to show you the way to make it so it doesn't look like your parents build it either, you know? <laughs> that never happens, right? Well, it's not perfect, a bit sloppy, but it'll get the point across and you'll get a good grade. My dad was a science and math teacher. I remember when I was 12 years old, dad built one of these steam turbines for his class. Well, for today's project, what we're going to do is build a hero engine. It's actually called an Aeolipile jet engine, which spins when heated. You know, in the first century, the man called Hero of Alexandria described the device. Thus, many sources say he's the inventor of this engine. You know, the parts I used are available at most hardware stores. When my dad built his back in the day. I remember he was, his was more to scale and had a Bunsen burner under the beaker for the boiler. Most are plastic, but when I saw this copper one, it reminded me of my dad, so I decided to get one and see what I could do. The only other parts you're going to need to make a safer version than using a bonfire at school <laughs> are the quarter inch copper tubing, a mounting board, a can of air, one eighth inch brass tubing for the jets, and some petroleum jelly for the seals. You're going to need a good soldering iron, however if you wanted to you could put the jets in with amazing goop instead. You just have to wait for it to dry. Well first of all you want to bend the copper tubing to form a frame as I show here. I originally was going to build it with the boiler in the middle of the tube, but since I found it too hard to bend, I abandoned that idea. Also the copper toilet float is easily damaged. The only thing you need to do is drill out the threads on the side with the brass fitting so the tube spins freely in there. Make sure to plug the copper tube on that side too. Next you'd need to drill a one quarter inch hole on the other side, being very careful not to bend or make this hole too big or the steam will leak out too much there. Next, with an eighth inch scribe, you can punch just the right size holes for the brass tubing jets. Also, to bend brass tubing, just use a spring over the tube and bend. That keeps it from getting kinks and you make a nice smooth bend. Next, put the jets into the holes so they oppose each other and blow the same direction. You can use amazing goop, solder, or epoxy to place these tubes in. Next, you want to drill a one eighth inch hole in the copper tubing on the right side of the unit and solder or glue in another eighth inch tube. This is the steam inlet tube. You can mount your tubing on a platform only on one side so that way you can flex the, the big copper tube to get your ball on straight. Push the steam side in first then place the left side in the brass tubing fitting. I use zip ties and washers to get zero slop. When I got the zip ties just in the right place I put a drop of CA glue there to keep it from moving. Put plenty of petroleum jelly on the ends to create a seal and make a good bearing. Okay, once you get it on there, it needs to spin freely like this. Instead of using the heat source, which takes a long time to get going, let's use simulated steam. You can get creative and make your own design to do this. Well, in my case, I simply purchased a can of air and drew a picture on it showing the simulated fire and simulated how the steam is made. Note, if you use compressed air in the can, like I'm doing here, you're going to find the can will get very cold and the pressure will go down. So if you have to demo non-stop for a while, you need to keep a can warm with a hair dryer or use a bigger container or even a small portable compressor on a small 12 volt battery to run it. Remember, save your air because it really has to work fantastic for the teacher and your presentation. So don't wear it out or run out of air showing all your buds before you get your grade. You know, there's many ways you can cut a pizza, a knife, a pizza cutter, scissors, and there's many different ways to build this also. This is just a guideline, folks, to give you an idea. So good luck, and go get an A.